Okay, so let me get this straight. If I was in the world of Zootopia, like in animal form, I'm a tiger, right? I would be a stripper, one of the tiger strippers for the gazelle version of Shakira. Tony. Then again, thinking about it, I would be technically dancing right next to Shakira, and that honestly doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Zootopia. So Zootopia is the newest Disney animated film, and the film does have the voice talents of Jennifer Goodwin, Jason Bateman, Aegis Elba, Nate Torrance, Bonnie Hunt, Don Lake, Tommy Chong, J.K. Simmons, Octavia Spencer, Alan Tudyk, and Shakira. So Zootopia is set in the world of, well, what I just said right now, Zootopia, where animals are basically us humans, where the prey and the predators get along together very well. It focuses on the story of Judy Hopps. She is the first bunny to ever become a cop, and so she moves to Zootopia, and while she's in Zootopia, she meets this sly fox named Nick Wilde, voiced by Jason Bateman, and so when there's something fishy going on in Zootopia, it's up to Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde to go solve this case. I can honestly say after seeing Zootopia, I was not disappointed. Zootopia honestly gave me everything I was hoping except for the fact that it goes through its themes like racism and stereotypes and friendship. I wasn't expecting it to tackle all of those themes. The messages do feel important. I do love how they discuss the topics of racism and stereotypes and friendships and how people could look at one person differently, well in this case animals, because we do live in a society where someone cannot treat someone that same way. There's no equality in the society. I thought Zootopia did a brilliant job of doing that. It was deep, it was thought-provoking, and honestly how they handled it was absolutely Beautiful. Now, of course, this is a Disney movie, so it's really cliche to say this, but the animation in Zootopia is absolutely beautiful to look at. You really get the huge scope of what Zootopia is all about. There is a lot of detail into the animation, from the locations, to the streets, even to the details of the characters. It looks awesome. I love the character design of Judy Hopps, Nick Wilde, the sloths, in that one scene which was just so funny and it was really cute as well. The characters themselves in the movie each have personalities to them that I actually really enjoyed. You have Judy Hopps who is very confident. She's taking risks to get where she's going in life to become the first bunny cop and I really admired what this character did. Already from the opening scene I cared about Judy Hopps. I wanted her to succeed in life. I wanted her to push as hard as she can to get to where she wants to be in life and I love that. And I also love Nick Wilde who you know you see him as just one of those typical sly fox characters but then you know you learn something about him later on in the movie that I thought was very powerful. I loved how the movie definitely fleshed out really these two characters and I thought Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde had a beautiful friendship, they have very great chemistry with each other and I think that's huge credit to honestly Jennifer Goodwin and Jason Bateman. Their voices really fit these characters so well. Jennifer Goodwin is just excellent as the voice of Judy Hopps. Her voice literally fits 
that character perfectly. And that same thing goes to Jason Bateman. And in all honesty, I can't see anyone really voicing Nick Wilde quite like Jason Bateman. This was the right casting choice. And it was also really cool to just see Jason Bateman in a Disney animated movie. Idris Elba was great as the voice of the chief. I believe the name is Chief Boko. You know, he does play one of those typical angry chiefs that you see a lot in movies. But I think the film is aware of that cliche and I think it kind of embraces that cliche. And I also thought this character named Claw Hosser, voiced by Nate Torrance, he was very likable. I really love the voice. Everyone else from Octavia Spencer to J.K. Simmons, Alan Tudyk, it's all great. Man, J.K. Simmons. 2016, wow, he's been hitting it out of the park with these animated movies. He was great as Kai in Kung Fu Panda 3. And it's cool to see him in another animated movie a couple months later with Zootopia. So in one year, he does a DreamWorks anime movie and a Disney anime movie. And although his voicing role is not as big compared to what he had in Kung Fu Panda 3 as Kai, he voices Mayor Lionheart. And I thought for what he had, he did a very good job as the character. And I think his voice actually fit the character well. It is very funny when the movie needs to be. But what I loved about this movie is how it balances the humor with the drama. And I know there's criticism saying how there isn't as much humor as maybe the film could have. Personally, I didn't feel that way. I thought the film had the perfect, and I do mean perfect balance of adding your dramatic moments but with your very comedic moments so there was a great balance to it and I thought it was handled very well of course the funniest parts like I mentioned were like with the sloths godfather jokes in this movie just plain genius and all the other jokes that adults are, are gonna catch but not really the kids you know those were very clever too and the movie is very well directed the movie is very well executed I do love how they fleshed out the characters of Judy and Nick Wilde and the action in this movie was actually very well handled it can be a little too intense for kids like there's definitely moments in this film that can be a little too intense for the kids but I thought they handled it very well and it created for such an exciting adventure. As for that song, Try Everything, sung by Shakira, very catchy song. I actually really enjoy that song a lot. I do, however, have a couple of problems with Zootopia. Once we do get to the third act of the movie, that's when I did feel like the pacing was a little bit rushed, not a whole lot. Uh, it was still a really great third act. I was still entertained by it. I was still highly invested in what was going on. But just pacing wise, I did feel like they were rushing the third act just a little bit. But I will honestly say, that's not really a big problem with me. The big problem I do have with this film, however, is this twist. Which, of course, I'm not going to spoil. You guys will probably know what it is if you've seen the movie, but... Just as we get near the end of the movie, there's this big, I guess you could say, reveal of the movie. And it was just so predictable. And then after that twist is revealed, it does lead to another thing where it does feel very rushed. It's for like a good minute or two. And then from there, that's when the movie does do its wrap up and the pacing is back on track. But like before the movie does wrap up the ending very nicely, you know, it did get honestly a little rushed in the third act and extremely rushed for like a minute or two after that twist is revealed. Overall, Zootopia is an awesome Disney animated movie. They have done an incredible job with this film. Everyone gives fantastic voice performances. The messages about racism, stereotypes, friendships, all the important things in this film. It feels very important. It blends with the concept of this film. And it does relate a lot to what our society is and reality. Animation's beautiful. It's very well directed, well executed. It's very creative. It has a perfect blend of humor and drama. I think personally, it's a great film for the entire family to see. And I'm going to give Zootopia three and a half 
out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Zootopia. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!